This is the police. We're going to be opening the door. I want your hands empty and above your head. If you do not, you will suffer the consequences. Again, this is the police. Where are the hands? Let's see the hands. Let's get that other door open. There's there hands sticking out of the top of the trailer. Okay. There's a curtain. There's hands sticking out of the top of the trailer earlier. Let's see them. Keep your hands up for me. Go and walk out towards me, okay? Try not to slip, all right? Just keep walking. Is there anybody else inside the trailer? No? Perfect. Body cam footage from that August 2022 encounter there in Arizona shows tons of law enforcement that eventually pulled over this truck pulling a trailer. And they had three young girls eventually file out. Those three girls ages ranged from 11 to 14 years old. Back there in that truck, there was a curtain, there was a makeshift chair, couch, and also a makeshift porta potty. Disgusting. Uh, so while they were being freed, the police across the parking lot were talking to the man who was driving the truck that was pulling that trailer. Uh, see if you can figure out if he uh, is acting suspicious. Let's watch. We're out here because there is supposed to be people back. How many other people in that truck? How many other people are in the truck? Any information I get, scan them real because of this. Well, I just want to know who's inside the truck right now, so that way I know who else we're dealing with here. Or else I'm going to call everybody out. As you can see, there's a pretty serious deal here, sir. What is your name? Samuel. Samuel what? Do I have to tell you my name? I'm asking for your name. I don't have to tell you, right? Sir. Yes, sir. What is your name? Samuel. Samuel what? Is he the driver? Yeah. Hey, you have to identify yourself. You understand that, right? I don't know. I just want to, yeah, Samuel Bateman. Samuel Bateman. I don't understand. What, what are you doing? That officer doesn't understand what Samuel Bateman was doing. I can tell you what he was doing. Bateman is a self-proclaimed prophet and leader in the fundamental church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints has upwards of 20 wives, some of which are underaged. Three of those were getting pulled out of the back of that trailer there. And Sam was still back there being very uncooperative with these officers. So of course it led to this, watch. We're trying to Samuel, make sure people- I just got here, explain to me what's going on. I'm back. I'm being videoed, just in case we're... Yeah, yeah that's then fine. You're being videoed as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, stuff. Stuff? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Let's not do this right now, huh? You are being detained until you identify yourself. Do I have to tell my name? Yes, you have to identify yourself. You are being detained for a crime. Okay, I'm going my, my We're still putting you in handcuffs, so sit tight. They took the time, went through the trailer, talked to him, put him in the back of the police car. And this is the mugshot for Sam Bateman after he was transporting three of his 20 wives around. There was apparently three other adult aged women in the truck with him in the front part, but they were 18 or so. So much older, I guess, so much more appropriate for him. Uh, so, by the way, um, the the charges that he's facing, instead of sex trafficking or polygamy charges, police charged Bateman with obstructing a federal investigation and kidnapping in response to their traffic stop investigation. The big part about this is they're trying to get the uh, the charges that they think they can win on. Saying this here, they always say that they got Al Capone on tax evasion at the end of the day. That's what the defense attorney said. What is cha what is chargeable in this case and what is winnable in this case may be different than what was going on. So they're trying to get him on something because sometimes it's hard when it comes to folks who have been indoctrinated, brainwashed, children that he's got thinking that they should be his wives. And they may not necessarily testify against him in the best way to point out that he's been trafficking, that he's been uh, holding them hostage would be. So they're going for those charges, which I'm sure some folks are disappointed in. As long as he's off the streets, he's got a court date coming in March. What's your thoughts here, Ray? 
Yeah, so first I wanna point out that the Fundamentalist Church of the Latter-day Saints, for anyone wondering, is part of Mormonism. Yes, it is a splinter group of the Mormon church, which is trying to rebrand its image by calling itself the Church of the Latter-day Saints. Um, and I think you raised a good point about why they might be bringing these lesser charges than sex trafficking charges, because a huge problem, not just within the Mormon church, but we see it a lot within the Mormon church is that these young girls are groomed. And you know, grooming not in the sense that conservatives mean it when they just say, you know, gay people, but actual honest to God grooming. They are um, told their entire lives and it's reinforced to them that it's you know acceptable and that it's normal to be married off at an exceptionally young age, as young as 11 in the cases of these girls, my God. Um, and their entire support system is within this you know, this splinter, uh, you know, splinter cult within Mormonism, not that Mormonism itself might <laughs> might be a cult, but you know, this specific group. And that's where all of their connections are, that's where all of their resources are. And they know that they're going to receive heavy backlash if they do decide to testify against them, uh, against the person who has been sex trafficking them. So they, you know, in an attempt to not isolate themselves from well, you know, first of all, they might not do it because they don't understand what's happening to them is wrong mm -hmm. because they've been groomed into thinking that it's normal. But also, if they do recognize that it's wrong, they might not do it because then they're afraid they're going to be isolated and shut out from the community that they have around them. And at such a young age, you know, they don't want to be, you know, sent into a system that's going to neglect them regardless, and they're not going to be getting the support there. So it's really tragic what's happening here. And I do just want to say that the way that conservatives are, you know, tossing away the actual meaning of terms like sex trafficking and grooming is really harmful to victims like these young girls who are actual victims of grooming, are actual victims of sex trafficking, and the attention isn't being given enough to them so then they don't have access to enough resources. We really need to be talking about these issues um, in a meaningful capacity and in a capacity that can get resources to these victims so that they're you know, able to call out their abuser in court and then be able to live you know, seemingly normal lives afterwards. Yeah, as usual with opportunistic Republican politicians, they talk about problems that many times they exacerbate or they completely ignore. The point is to talk about it, scare people and to do nothing about it. Cuz if it goes away, what can we run on? There's nothing fake to run on then. By the way, really fast, a follow on Twitter that I absolutely love is Dara Faye, D-A-R-A-F-A-Y-E. Dara Faye, she's a, she ran for Congress at one point, but she posts pretty regularly actual groomers, actual child sex traffickers, actual assaulters, pretty regularly on her Twitter feed. And many times she points out, not a trans person, not a drag queen, not part of the LGBTQ community, but just these guys you'll see on the streets of all races and backgrounds and occupations. Cuz these groomers and these child sex traffickers and these rapists, they come from all these other corners. And if Republicans want to do something about it, they would highlight those folks as well to maybe do something about limiting those things and preventing it. But they don't want to do that. That's not their purpose. And stuff like this happens. Are they talking about this? Nope.